Hi everyone, Liam here from Simply Inspired. Today I'm going to be talking about gratitude. Now, gratitude is something that a lot of people talk about, but very few people actually apply. There have been quite a number of studies um, over the years, scientific studies, papers and so forth, that have shown that gratitude can be one of the most important emotions for human well-being. And these studies have shown that the more grateful someone is, the lower levels of depression they have, the lower levels of stress they have, the more self-worth and self-acceptance they have, um, the more subjective well-being and life satisfaction um, they have. And all of these things are vastly improved in people who are more grateful. There have also been studies that have shown that gratitude can actually influence the brain to remember positive experiences more easily and they've also found that gratitude can um, improve relationship satisfaction and those are just a few of the things in the study and really these studies have shown that gratitude can be one of the most beneficial human emotions that exists even more so than happiness uh, it has a very positive effect on mental health with rates of depression and anxiety being much lower in grateful people uh, among many other findings and gratitude is something that it's very easy to forget about and not really take part in. If you take the time to look around, you will already have more blessings in your life than you actually think you have. Um, you know, if you take the time to look at people who are homeless or living in war zones or um, refugees, it's just something going on at the moment that's very topical, or you, you look at people who've been born disabled or have terminal illnesses or so on. You know, all of these things point to gratitude and I, I personally feel um, that in the world today with social media and with all these things going on, gratitude is actually trained out of people in a lot of ways. Um, you know, we're constantly comparing our lives to other people on social media. We're constantly feeling that we're not good enough, that we don't have enough and so on. Now, obviously, you'll always want to strive for more and ambition is healthy. But at the same time, being grateful for some of what you have, whether it's a loving family, whether it's your good health, whether it's a nice home, there's always something and one of the ironies that uh, I've personally encountered is that I've met people from all over the world and when you speak to people from um, much poorer countries they are oftentimes happier than people from very very wealthy countries or very very wealthy backgrounds. Now I'm not advocating poverty by any means because it comes with various negatives of its own but I am advocating that somebody in that position would um, take the time to be grateful f for what they have because they know uh, how bad it can get and, and every, every um, aspect of their lives is a, is a blessing in that way. I do feel that materialism has a, uh, a negative effect sorry, on gratitude and we live in a very materialistic era. Somebody in a war zone would potentially be happier than somebody in, say, the Western world because they wouldn't be worried about what shoes they're wearing or how their Instagram profile looked. Although they would be more stressed and under more pressure on another level for fear of their life. So it is swings and roundabouts. But I'm just showing the illustration that gratitude is a powerful thing. Some years ago, um, I came across the idea of what they call a gratitude rock, which is actually the idea that you have a... Um, a rock like a pebble or a crystal or some type of stone. It doesn't have to be a stone, it can be anything you personally identify with. And each morning when you wake up you actually hold this uh, stone or whatever else it is for you and think of the things in your life that you are most grateful mm. for. Now, this is actually proven to enhance well-being uh, and over the long term it's actually proven to enhance your physical health because after all the less stressed you feel the less damage you'll be doing to your body with negative hormones, the more grateful and happier you feel, the more inclined you will be to look after yourself, exercise, eat well, sleep well, uh, and so forth. So I feel that gratitude is a truly powerful, powerful thing um, that we could all do with applying more in our 
daily lives. Um, it's something that's often talked about, not just by myself, but by many other people. Um, and personally, although I've reaped the benefits of gratitude, um, so have a lot of other people, and so can you watching this. And this is the reason for me sharing this today, is this has direct benefit to you watching this right now. So try and be more grateful. Um, it's not always easy, but it is always worthwhile. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you could all please subscribe to the Simply Inspired YouTube channel in the link below and there will be more videos coming very soon. Thanks very much for watching.